Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, MMA for self defense.com. Teaching you stuff for MMA, stuff for combatives for self defense. Basic, some guillotine defenses, and maybe not so basic, stuff you don't know. Okay, so some guillotine defense, guys. Okay, Chris, come here. Chris puts me in a guillotine. Guys, number one defense is hangman. He throws me into a guillotine. I'm going to throw this up hangman style, put the elbow above, and block his knee. Okay? Like Gracie Jiu Jitsu, some of the other Jiu Jitsu instructors are going to teach hand control here. That's not bad, except you're open to the knee of the face. You'll see that in MMA a lot when a guy gets like a, a sort of guillotine or a head snap down position. Before he lets up, he'll throw the knee to the face. I'd rather block that and go right away. I don't want to be open to it even for a second. On the ground, if I got to get hand control to get out, I get hand control to get out the attacking appendage on my neck. So here, I'm going to hang in. And knee. And now, every time he lifts me to choke me, I'm going to jump up and down. Lift me. You hear me breathing, because every time I jump up and down, it's about space. He can't elongate me out. He's not lifting my head off. He's lifting my whole body. He's getting tired. And I have space to breathe. That's very important. You'll learn when you're grappling on the ground how to just get a little space, a little angle to survive is important. Okay, I'm going to jump up once, twice, three times and hook to the opposite side angle. If he has my head here, I go around this way. If he has my head with his left arm, I go around the other way. Okay. He snaps me down, I get caught in the guillotine. I'm going to go here, try to choke the for you. Go to side mouth. And then if you want a decent vibe blue choke, like this up. Just put pressure with your shoulder or push the wrist down to go to a Kimura right away. You're inside mount, you're safe. He's a big guy and he's squeezing hard. He squeezes for about 50, 52 seconds, and then his arm fills up with lactic acid, his bicep burns out, and you get out. He never has anything unless he reclaims guard or stupid and you let him reclaim some type of guard, butterfly hooks, getting inside, half guard, whatever. Stay inside, not you're safe, you'll get out of the choke. Put the shoulder pressure in like I did, you even tap the guy out. But you can hook that arm all the way, go to the Jason Von Fu if you want, or push the wrist down and go to the corner. One more time. The leg falls down here, shoulder in the throat, wrist, come around here. Now, um, right? Let's see. So that's your basic and, and most important DT defense. Now, if you got power, you got energy, you can do the hop in, lift, slam defense. Okay? He goes to guillotine me, I throw this up per usual, but I have to hop my feet, my base, my hips up so I can do a lift like you're doing a squat. Spread your legs. Here, he's trying to choke me, trying to choke me. I'm going to lift in, hop in, up, down, in a nice squatting position, head up to the sky, knees are bent. We'll lift this guy, Wham, slam this guy. Throw him against the cage, standing if you want. Tool him around, show off to the fans, whatever you want to do. Now it takes energy. You can get a big slam rampage style there if you want. Okay, uh, back in the day I was training No Holds Barred, Noe Hernandez did this to me, slamming in the wall once, nails were popping out of the wall. When he used to train in dungeons and stuff, back when things were a little less MMA civilized, Noe Hernandez was UFC, uh, Chuck Liddell's first UFC fight for you new school fans. Okay, I got here. Go ahead, choke me for real. Yep, go. Yeah, I'm gonna defend, go, choke. Wham! Whoa, 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 whatever I want to do. <laughs> okay, then I'm here. Now I want the arm, maybe I want the leg. Whatever. Okay? So you, uh, for that one, you can lift a big guy. You hop into the squatting position. It's about getting your hips underneath him. Just like you're going to taught to lift a box at work or do a squat with a bar on your shoulders. Here, go ahead. Jinchi's lifting me. Happy and jump a little. Lift up and slam this dude. Throw him around for the fans. Push him down. Knee him in the face. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Be careful. For kids, don't mess around. Be careful. This is if you're training under supervised instructors. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna mess around and see what happens. Go ahead, try and choke me. Try to jump. Come on. 
do something like that. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Let's we'll see that in a movie soon when I fight choreography. Fight choreography. That can work. Let's watch that again. You alright with that? Okay. He's not expecting that. He's usually driving in with energy. So I'm gonna fly sideways with my body, kick my legs up and uh, twist it so it's gonna hurt my neck. Kick the legs out to the outside. Drop down low, got into him. He's gonna have to pretty much roll in a ball to a little bridge if I need to. There you go, do the other one. So don't expect it. Choking. So there's a fun one for you guys to try. So there's some different guillotine defenses to you. Thanks, Chris. Yep. All right, I'm Dan Wolfman. Go to MMAForSelfDefense.com. Guys, subscribe to my YouTube page. I've got over 400 videos. Good for MMA, good for self-defense, good for submission grappling. Learn it all, all right? Thanks, write me. If you start using these, the competition, getting it live rolling, uh, tell me what's going on. Thanks, guys.